Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be making our summer fun water bottle. So this is actually a hog water bottle with a Bluetooth speaker on the top. That's what that big white lid is. It's a Bluetooth speaker and it actually works pretty well, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, I saw that I was like, ooh, we're going on vacation. We definitely need these for the beach. So you can pick these up on stainlessstilldepot.com. They are pretty expensive, I believe. Don't get me to lie, but I believe they were $17 a piece. So they were not cheap, but definitely an investment if you want to have like, if you like someone like me who walks through your neighborhood for exercise and you wear your earphones and maybe you don't want to wear your earphones because people are crazy and might try to snatch you off the street. <laughs> um, you can definitely get this and you know, you have your water bottle in your hand and have some music going. So I thought it was really cool. So I am going to spray paint it and I'm just taping it off with masking tape and I didn't know, I'm putting the lid back on because I'm checking to see where the lid meets the bottle. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't spray paint or if I do spray paint that top part where it meets, I'll come back in and remove that off with acetone. So that's the part I'm showing you. I'm not going to tape it, but I also don't want spray paint right there. So I spray painted off camera. If you guys want to start seeing that, let me know. And I just spray painted it white. My spray painting, since I've spray painted this, has actually gotten a lot better. So yeah, I'm more confident in the spray painting now. So these are the two colors we're going to be using. This is Daphne. She's new. She's new to the Period 6 family. Um, and it's a purple iridescent, like, translucent glitter with shifts of green. You're like, Daphne, what does that have to do with it? I'll tell you in a second. And that is Sweet 16. So just a beautiful pink color but it's called Daphne because I don't know if you guys are familiar but in Scooby-Doo the character Daphne wears a purple dress with a green scarf and so when I thought about I'm like oh my goodness it's purple and it's green what is purple and green what's purple and green I said Daphne's outfit perfect so that is Daphne she's new she is available and you can pick her up on periscopeglitter.com so yeah, and so I'm gonna be doing the Mod Podge method with this tumbler. And so just using the glossy Mod Podge, any Mod Podge will do, it's all glue. So don't worry about that. And just making sure I get a nice coat on here, nice and smooth. And definitely when you're doing chunky glitters, you can definitely do the epoxy method and it'll lay down a little flatter, but I will show you guys how to compensate for that when you are using Mod Podge. So I'm gonna do a two color ombre with these. And so I definitely wanted more of the Daphne than I did of the Sweet 16. So I'm going to come down a little lower with the Daphne than the Sweet 16 pink one. But yeah, they're both so beautiful. And like, honestly, y'all, when I spray painted the bottle, I didn't have a clue what I was going to do with this water bottle. And what I, how my creative process kind of works is that I just kind of look at all the glitter on the shelves and I kind of just pick colors and I line them up next to each other. And these two caught my eye and I'm like, yep, I'm going to do these two. So yeah, like I said, I want to bring that Daphne down a little lower. And so that's what I did. And I'm just going to do some touch-ups. And I did do a second coat on the bottle, but I like my first coat to look pretty nice and even. Um, so that's why I do go back and I do do the touch-ups on the cup. All right, so like I said, in order to compensate for not doing the epoxy method and the glitter laying super flat, what I like to do is just put on a glove, and you don't necessarily have to wear a glove, but for me, I don't know, I just like to wear a glove. And I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna lightly pat the glitter down, laying down all of the pieces that are sticking up. While I'm doing that, you can see I'm also still doing touch-ups. I just dab my finger in a little bit of glue, and I come back over with a little bit of glitter. So around the rim, Around your, your edges dry really quickly when you're doing the Mod Podge method, so it's not shocking to me that um, that's usually the area where I need to do touch-ups because, again, the glue gets dry quicker right there. That's just what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and leave it to sit. I do, when I'm not, I mean, if I'm not going to use the heat gun, I'm just going to let it air dry. I do wait at least an hour between coats before I do my next coat with the Mod Podge method. So that's how it looks after the first coat and all the touch-ups I did. And yeah, and so I did the Mod Podge method again for the second coat and I do do the Mod Podge by color. So I did the pink first and then cleaned off my brush and then came back 
and did the purple color as far as color covering it in the Mod Podge. So yeah, and I just want to bring that down a little bit further. Um, I thought it was a little too even. So yeah, that's what I just fixed it up really quickly. So you can see I have those two pieces of purple glitter on the bottom. Uh, you can see it when it's done, but if you're one of those weird people, you might want to fix that. And that's how it looks. And I also did come back in and do the glove method again, in case anyone was wondering. Didn't feel the need to show it twice, but just know that I did do that. All right. Um, also off camera, I did use the counterculture DIY quick coat. So I did two layers of that on the cup just to kind of help everything seal in, be flat. You can see like the glitter looks super flat um, compared to if you were to just glitter it and not try to like stick it down, use quick coat, nothing like that. So I know it's like a lot of little extra stuff you got to do and little extra stuff you got to buy. But when I'm telling y'all, it makes a difference. It makes such a difference. Definitely an investment in yourself and your business and your technique. But that's my little two cents. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. And I'm just doing the drop and catch method with the tumbler here. I have detailed videos on epoxying. So um, if this visual is not enough for you, definitely check out the other videos in my channel and just go ahead and subscribe while you're here. Give the video a thumbs up, all those good things. Cause you know, it helps out the channel. It helps other people find the channel. We can learn together. It's so much fun. And so y'all know my camera fell on my like countertops, my stone countertops and had been having some trouble. <laughs> and so my, all my footage from these vinyl decals are gone. And so I did my name and I offset it. That is vinyl from Amazon. I will leave a link below. And then I have another decal that says good vibes only because again, this is going on vacation with me. Like I'm taking it to the rainforest, baby. We're about to have a good time. So it's good vibes only, like message for the summer, good vibes only. And I actually got that decal from a website that has free cut files. So I will leave a link to it below. Definitely check out the website. They have hundreds if not in the thousands I didn't even finish looking through and I was like on page 52 um a free cut file so definitely check them out and just know that I did hit this with the heat gun when I was all done epoxying it and moving on so let's get to the top lid so I'm going to be using grape soda and barbs and ss16 these are period six glitter rhinestones if that makes any sense but you can pick them up on period six glitter.com and so those are our own line of jelly rhinestones. Very proud of them. You guys have been loving them. So thankful. And I am using liquid fusion. Also, we'll leave a link to that below. This is the glue that I swear by when it comes to stoning. So yeah, nothing, nothing special here. Some people do like to like transfer their glue into like one of those needle nose tip um, bottles, but I'm not doing all that. <laughs> It already is in enough of a needle nose tip for me. And that is also our rhinestoning tool. So you're like, I got y'all. Like, I got everything but the glue. And y'all keep fooling with me. I'm going to come out with my own glue. Uh, so, yeah. So um, I'm just line doing them in lines. I decided to do an ombre. So, like, kind of like when I was like, oh, am I going to do it in pink? Or am I going to do it in purple? Like, what am I going to do? And so I decided to do, like, ombre both sides and so that's pretty much what we're gonna do for the lid so yeah so I'm also like y'all know me like I I find a way to make things work and so what I like to do for my rhinestones is that I like to just get them on the glue and then I like to go back and train them out and it's like that getting that first line like not it's not it ain't never going to be perfect. That's not a thing. We're perfectly imperfect over here. Y'all already know. Um, but I like to like get them on and then like do all my straightening while it's still wet in the glue. Trying to get that first line right up against the edge to give us a nice even first line to work from. That way we don't have to worry about when we get to the top. It's like it's higher on one side than it is the other. And now we don't know what to do and it's looking kind of wonky. If you line up that first line won't have those problems take your time this first line y'all literally took me 25 minutes like y'all are seeing it in super fast mode but I do not I don't even try to rush that first line like when I start getting in a groove and I can like move I do but that first line I definitely take my time with to get it nice and even like you see right here and again ignore my nails I was between nail sets <laughs> by the end of the video my nails are back done again 
So yeah, let's keep going. Um, I'm not going to show y'all like the whole cup. I did this cup over three or four days. I usually do a line or two and leave. <laughs> it's like between work, between school, between being a wife, between running period six. Uh, yeah, it all doesn't get done in one sitting. I know you, the ladies and hey fellas, uh, y'all feel me. Y'all know what it's like. If we only we lived in a, in a world where we could sit down and just do the things we love to do and be able to, you know, keep a roof over our head. Unfortunately, we also have to get up and go to our nine to fives and we, you know, we be creative and we hustle on the side. So yeah, that's what we're doing probably till the day we die, unfortunately. But as long as we create time to do the things that we love, that's what matters. So yeah, um, I think all in all, how long would I say? Uh, by the time I was on a roll, I could get like a line, like a whole loop done in about 10 minutes. Uh, so there was five whole lines of purple, five whole lines of pink and like three lines with a mixed and that probably, so, you know, two, three hours worth of work. Okay. And so let me explain to y'all what I'm doing and create the ombre. Cause now I'm, as always, I'm, I'm off on a damn tangent. Okay. So to create the ombre, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing four purple, one pink. And so then when I get up to the next line, I'm going to do two pink, two purple to get that, that four. And then for the next line, I'm going to do three pink, one purple. And that's how you create your ombre. And the key to this to create some type of continuity, in my opinion, is to make sure that when you do the next line, that the pink is on that line is touching the pink stone below it. And so there are, there were instances with this one, because it's the odd number around the loop, where even if I were to do like two and two, it wasn't going to touch the pink like you see me just did right there. I had to do one and two. And so just always be cognizant that you don't, it doesn't have to like be two and two and three and one and whatever, but make sure that you're creating that continuity where they are like the, the color that you're trying to do next is touching the color below it. Cause if not, it's just going to look like spots and that's going to look weird. So yeah. So make sure that when you're doing it, it's touching. And so, yeah, that's how it looks. And so then finally, once I got, when I did like the reverse of the very first line I did, and now we get to the four pink, one purple, um, or three pink, one purple, then I just do a whole line of pink. And that's how you create your ombre. It's simple. Like it's cause I didn't honestly, y'all know I ain't know how to do that, but in my mind it was going to work. And I knew I didn't want to do like just solid lines and then just switch from one color to the next because that's gonna look like janky like even like when you're doing glitter like unless you're doing stripes <laughs> like that's not that's not the definition of ombre and so yeah so that's what I did um I figured it out worked out that's how we do it over here y'all already know um so yeah and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just do straight barbs which is the pink color that's the name barbs shout out to all the Nicki Minaj fans we're happy to see the queen back Yes, yeah, she's back. Everybody go stream seeing green Nicki Minaj with Drake and Lil Wayne. This is not a promo. Nicki doesn't know me, but we love the music. She is the female rapper of my generation that I grew up with. That's a tangent, but these are an homage to her, just like Lemonade. The glitter color is an homage to the Queen Beyonce. Anywho, as you can see now, I have nails on. <laughs> so different day. Uh, so yeah, and those are my vacation nails, and that's actually if you can see the glitter nail, you probably can't. How I'm holding my my fingers, but that was, those are opal in my nails. I do my own nails, so yeah, I know I'm a I'm a jack of every trade, y'all. <laughs> I do I do it all. Uh, so yeah, so now I'm just gonna finish it up, and so just all pink till I get to the top. The last line did overlap a little bit, but I was cool with that because I needed it. I didn't want to leave that white space. And this is what we get. Good vibes only. So yeah, you guys, that's how it looks, how everything looks coming together. It's like the rhinestone lid almost looks like a little crown. It's super cute. So if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We would love for you to join the Perry Six Designs family. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Perry Six Designs. You can follow me over on TikTok with the young kids at Perry Six Glitter. As always, check out our website, PerrySixGlitter.com, for your selection of glitter, rhinestones, and rhinestone tools, and then our ever-expanding collection. And I will see you guys in the next one.